right, everyone, welcome to another episode of Simply Nerdy. This is Anthony hosting today, and I'm joined by the usual gang. Say hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. <laughs> What's up? So today we wanted to uh, start off our discussion, hopefully not meander too much, but uh, discuss the kind of exciting and relevant topic of Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is coming out in the upcoming week. So what I kind of figured we could do is just kind of talk about our impressions so far, our hopes, and uh, kind of where we stand on whether or not we're going to pick it up type of thing. So uh, since I'm hosting, maybe I'll just kick it off. I've been probably a little bit more hype suppressed than even Lisa, which is saying something because she has a, a gift. I'll throw out my impressions for Pokemon Arceus. So I'm actually kind of really intrigued by this game. It's kind of what I've always wanted Pokemon to be. Now, I, d I don't know if the, the gameplay style is still going to necessarily appeal to me because I feel like it, it is pretty bare bones RPG stuff going on. But you know, the, it seems like the most compelling iteration that I've seen so far. I feel like Pokemon Sword and Shield with the wild areas kind of made me hope that that was where they were gonna go as it was kind of basically gonna be Pokemon of the wild, so to speak. And Sword and Shield didn't really realize that. And it looks like uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus is totally doing exactly that. And so, that's one big, huge checkbox for me that I'm really interested in seeing how it, it turns out. So with that in mind, the recent impressions that we've heard, and it sounded like it was basically all positive. I mean, I guess other than maybe the visuals, I've heard some people complaining about that. It just sounds like there's enough, an evolution of ideas that I'm really intrigued. Like the, the idea of boss battles that are basically hybrid where you know half of it is you know you're battling with your pokemon and in another half it's it's almost like an action sequence you know the impressions all the impressions i've heard have been the world is exhilarating uh it's surprisingly challenging which is always a, a big draw for me it kind of sounded like this game is managing to some degree to capture the feeling of wonder that made Breath of the Wild such an incredible experience. And uh, I, I mean, I'm, at the, I'm not at the point necessarily where I know I'm gonna get it. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of waiting on the reviews to see, you know, how that all turns out. But uh, uh, I might have a game to buy this week. <laughs> it, it, it might be a must play depending on how, how well it reviews. So there's a lot of people out there that I trust and I'm really curious to see what they think of it. I'll, I'll go in next. Um, so for me, whenever the Pokemon company evolves, I guess is the word I'll use for Pokemon. Oh. Whenever they evolve their formula, it really gets my attention. And this one is the most out there Pokemon company's ever done with any of their Pokemon games. It's really ambitious and which automatically catches my attention. And like Anthony said, it's a lot of Breath of the Wild. That's why I was so excited for Sword and Shield and that it didn't turn out to be exactly open world Breath of the Wild-esque, but it did have its charm and it did have its flaws. But uh, the wild area was where that game really shone. If this whole game is, is like the wild area, I'm 100% there. I think I've said that on the channel before, but so you have not heard it here first, you heard it somewhere else. But <laughs> it was really good. And I'm excited to see where it goes from here. And like Anthony said, there's some new mechanics there that seem super interesting. And I'm, ex I'm just 100% excited. However, to answer Anthony's second question, I will not be getting this day one simply because I ran out of fun month. So uh -huh. I'll have to wait till next month. This uh -huh. is definitely, I definitely want to play this Pokemon game. Like I am so there as soon as I have the money to get it, it's on my radar. I'll go, I guess. <laughs> I, I'm on board with what Anthony and Steven have said so far. I did play Pokemon Shield because I was intrigued by the, the new ideas they were adding into the Pokemon formula, right? I did enjoy the game, but it, it didn't live up to what I hoped it would be, that's for sure, and what I think a lot of people hoped it would be. With Arceus, seeing that they're going maybe even more in that direction obviously appeals to me, so I'm kind of in the same boat waiting for reviews. I don't expect them to, you know, when they make this game, that they'll get everything right that I'm hoping for. but. You know, maybe they've done enough, and the reviews will be great, and I'll have to try it out. I'm, uh, I'm hopeful. Yeah, I, I agree, and I, and I kind of hope that one of the things they also take from Breath of the Wild is making sure that there's, that the world is packed with, with plenty of interesting things to do. Because, I mean, if it, if it literally is just a smattering of Pokemon in an open area, that's not going to be enough for me. You know, Indeed. like Breath. Of... All there. right, Lise. Did I go? <laughs> that okay. You. As far as like getting the game. I feel like if there is even a slight amount of positive buzz, I am likely to get it. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to get it day one. I can say that I am a little bit not optimistic. Like, this game looks awesome and it looks like something I would really like, at least with a lot of the directions they're going. And probably my curiosity will get the better of me and I'll end up getting it, like, I, like I've said. But there's, there's been several other times where I've been like, oh my goodness, this Pokemon game looks like one I'll really enjoy. And then I get like halfway through and I didn't really enjoy it. Hopefully that won't happen. I can say as far as what I'm excited about, they seem to... So, you know, hypothetically in Pokemon, Pokemon are animals, right? Like in our world, they would just be animals, but in their world, they have Pokemon. And I feel like at least in the other games I've played, it doesn't seem... They don't really feel like they live much of a life outside of being caught by trainers. So I, I like that in this one, the, you know, it seems to be a lot more organic in the, in, in the way Pokemon exists. Also, it seems like the storyline might be a little more different than beat up these gym leaders and also there's some hoodlums for some reason. So I'm excited about that. Uh, I have to admit one thing I was disappointed about finding out was that it was only like specific like alpha Pokemon or whatever that were the ones that would like try to attack the trainer because I kind of hoped that big predator wild animals would just act like big predator wild animals whether or not they had red eyes. So yep, those are my thoughts. I was disappointed about that one thing, but I'll get over it. I will say another thing that that um, that has kind of caught my interest is, is as you pointed out, Lisa, the fact that they're doing something different for the plot. I mean, it doesn't necessarily look like the deepest thing in the world either, but it it's kind of interesting that what you're doing instead of trying to fight gym leaders is you're cataloging, you know, that region, that region's first Pokedex. That's, I mean, it, it kind of sounds interesting. It kind of sounds like maybe even though you will be using Pokemon to to battle some of these, that maybe the primary focus will be exploration and discovery. And that's, again, what I love so much about Breath of the Wild. Anyway, um, I guess in, maybe in the way to sum up all these thoughts is, you know, I don't think any of us would consider ourselves avid Pokemon fans. And yet this one is different enough and looks like it's daring enough that it's kind of caught all our attention to some degree. Well, <laughs> let's all hope but it turns out as good as, well, as we hope it will be. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe though, uh, you know, the, the, the primary purpose of this video is to discuss that relevant topic of how interesting Arceus looks. But uh, also I think we wanted to just kind of throw in a little bit of a segue discussion for another hot topic this year um, that I think is actually a really uh, rather sensible segue because, you know, I, I think the basis of a lot of our interest in Pokemon Legends Arceus is its, uh, its Breath of the Wild-like elements. And so with that in mind, we were going to just do a quick discussion about Breath of the Wild 2, which is rumored to be releasing this year, if we think what's going to happen um, and when we're going to learn more and whatever. So I'm just going to open up the floor. What do you all think? Are we going to get it this year? Yes. I think I think there's a good chance of it because I mean Nintendo themselves are the ones that are calling or giving it a 2022 window, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, and considering that it started, their idea started as DLC for Breath of the Wild, and then it just kind of blew up from there. Using it's using some of the same in you know the, the same assets. I feel like they've had lots of time to work on it, and I'd kind of be shocked if it wasn't going to come in the near future. I mean, they've had. What by the time holiday, the holiday period will roll around, it'll have been five and a half years. Yeah, that's enough time for a brand new Zelda game. Yeah. And one that's not reusing assets. Yeah, exactly. So, so I'm hopeful. I, th I think end of the year though. I think hol holiday time would be the soonest we'd get it. Yeah, I agree. That's something <laughs> I hope that we get a new story trailer hopefully soon. I'm thinking maybe around the summer or late spring or something. That we'll yeah. get uh, we'll get a story trailer. That's that's the thing I want to see. I want to see the story. Really, really, really. Yeah, I, I want I want to see this dark Zelda story. Yeah, uh, when they see some of that. I think yes. when they re reveal the title, where supposedly exactly. they're holding they're holding on to that because it's going to give stuff away yeah. about what the game will be like. So I agree. With that story trailer, we'll get the title of the game and release date if it really is this year. Anthony, you want to talk about that so I can get mad at you? 
<laughs> Here's the thing. I thought that you Ryan were on Mulligan. my side when we were chatting about this. I'm on I'm on the well, I guess I'm more fence. on the fence. Of, the fence. I'm on doing. I'm on I'm on the fence, but I'm holding on to the side the side of the fence for releasing in 2022. However, <laughs> the argument for me to jump on the other side of the fence and hang on that side is if it releases with new hardware. I'm the the I guess a little bit of a naysayer here if, if oh, you will characterize me as such. As <laughs> such. No, so my stance is this. I want Breath of the Wild 2 as much as the next person who was as crazy a Breath of the Wild fan as as, as I was am. Um, <laughs> but uh, I I kind of hope that if a uh, a hardware refresh is on the horizon, that they wait to release Breath of the Wild 2 until it can release with the hardware. If it's going to be ages out there, then no, I don't want them to necessarily wait that long. But my perspective is Breath of the Wild was such an incredible game specifically because they were willing to delay it in, to an insane degree. So my all I'm saying is if it could take, the, the, uh, take advantage of better hardware, um, and bolster the release of the Switch Pro or the Switch 2 or whatever it'll be called, then I am fine with them delaying it. But I want it. So there you go. Hey, hey, <laughs> I'm going to throw this out there. I, I agree with... I, 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 can, I can agree with that. Like I said, that's why I'm half on the fence. But if they do delay it, give us Metroid Prime 4. Well, I doubt that's coming before Breath of the Wild 2, even if they do delay it. Then give me Breath of the Wild 2. <laughs> <laughs> Launch an action with Metroid Prime 4. We'll just do that. We'll swap them. There we go. You're already here first. That's what I want. Well, or, or like not, a 2D I'm not on that fence anymore. I just jumped what off the, the fence. I'm on the floor. Them? 2D Zelda. Or, or, or hey, yeah. maybe, maybe these these Super Mario Odyssey 2 rumors will, will suddenly come to fruition. I mean... Okay, the way Nintendo's that. been doing things lately, they're just like, Shadow Drop, it's coming out in a month. So who knows? It's true. Yeah. We didn't know about the, the new Kirby game until like half a year ago, right? <gasps> so. I forgot that was a thing. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, this, this is good. Now it's time, now it's time to hype. bury it. Okay. <laughs> bury it. Well, Lisa <laughs> is the ultimate at hype <laughs> suppression as we started off. <laughs> Yeah, we saw a brief glimpse of the hype there, and it's already yep, gone. Yep. <laughs> what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> See, anyway, what do you have to say, Dave? Regarding Breath of the Wild 2, Anthony, I uh, I understand your logic, um, and I know that it's because you know you want Breath of the Wild, but with with like zero performance issues, right, and things like that. Awesome. <laughs> of course, I want that too, but. I only have a switch and I need something to play. <laughs> <laughs> I want I want uh, I, you know the Wii U years were hard for me. It's like the only console I had and Nintendo released like one game a year. It Literally. was it was it was painful. And some of the games were Kirby Star Allies or something or no, not Star Allies. Uh, just games like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Even though there were parts of Breath, the first Breath of the Wild, where, you know, that some frame rate issues and stuff, it didn't stop it from being like one of the best games ever that we all love. So I agree with that. If Breath of the Wild Two is just as good, some of the same performance issues, maybe, I I, I will still be fine. I'll still have fun playing it this year. <laughs> <laughs> You're totally on the fence. You can't decide what you want here. <laughs> I said I jumped off the fence. I'm on the floor for 2022. <laughs> Whatever. I saw that face. Anyway. Yeah, no, I, I'll i take a day one patch, too. You know, whatever. whenever the new Switch comes out and they do a patch, that would be great to do. Anyway, so uh, any last thoughts before we tie it up? Hashtag 2022 down in the comments below. Vote. <laughs> <laughs> Vote okay, for when you think it's going to come out. I'm just the crazy one here, I guess. <laughs> Yep. Tell us know. Okay. Do you want do you want Breath of the Wild 2 in 2024 or whenever they release the next <laughs> Nintendo hardware? Come on, <laughs> <David>. <laughs> or do you want it, or do you want it this year? <laughs> Scream oh. it down in the comments below. I'm just kidding. It. No. I feel ginged up. <laughs> we have uh, 40 seconds, guys. 40 seconds. Well, 
I guess that's it for today's discussion. Lots of exciting things this this year. Uh, stuff coming up soon and stuff coming up maybe later. And uh, let us know what you think. But uh, thanks for listening, you guys. And until next time. Keep it nerdy. Keep it nerdy. <laughs>